<laughs> uh, good morning. Good afternoon, friends. Oh, I'm your friendly announcer. I got some serious news too. That's it. Anyways, how y'all doing today? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Um, it's just so much going on all the time. And so much to the point where it is rather sickening uh, at some of the... You know, some things are just unnecessary, okay? Whether it's unnecessary crime, unnecessary... Um, just somebody not doing their job, just unnecessary crit, uh, uh, unnecessary craziness. So my situation here is I almost fainted because I told you I did another video with just how much of a problem. The crime has escalated in Milwaukee. A lot of people sleep on Milwaukee. Milwaukee is one of them, ooh, the most smallest little corrupt uh, cities. And don't get it twisted because we finally got a, a black pan-appointed mayor from Barrett. Okay? Cavalier. Okay? Uh, don't, don't get me to talking crazy. Anyway, um, what 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 I'm having a problem with is that there are these young men who are so reckless, so disrespectful to life itself that it's hard for any sane and rational person to make excuses for them. And I don't blame white people in some of these situations. Some of these situations, and I, I you know what, I know y'all going to get mad. I can't help it. I really can't worry about that. I understand. See, the sad part about it is they done lumped all of us in with this subgroup that they don't understand. Half of us, three quarters of us, won't out the way anyway. We just don't, can't do it. Now, the way you're doing it is fucked up, but there are some of us who know that something has got to change. You cannot continue to see the same stuff every day, day after day, and it's a certain group of people, young people or older people or a certain gender committing these fucking acts of madness um, that gets crazier when it comes to their neighborhoods. See, they're not committing crimes that's going to hurt, um, you know, shit, besides the subway killer, Frank James, I'm sorry. They're not going to do nothing that affects the country. They're going to do dumb shit that affects all these individual families, like riding through the neighborhoods, uh, shooting up people, uh, or... Um, you know, stealing people's cars, reckless driving. But here's the worst part to all the madness. When you have police that help these motherfuckers or the judges, whichever ones, to keep perpetuating this stuff, I'm sorry, over and over and over and over again. Okay? There are some young people that have over mm -mm, 35, and I want to know where they do that at. They got over 35 arrests for uh, reckless uh, driving, all types of stuff. And then when the police pull them over, they just fist bump with them. Be like, hey, slow down, will you? What is going on here? What? You know, the police now, you know, so see, this is what I'm saying. 
You got an element. You got all types of elements out there. What kind of police officer would allow some um, a person to go on? He's traveling six, 70, 80 miles an hour in a 20 mile an hour zone. And he's got a record of doing this 35 times. Reckless driving. And he's not arrested yet. And nobody can't seem to stop him. He done crashed into, made other people crash into each other. Just a schizophrenic when it comes to being out here on this road. Okay? And so, or some of these murderers that you know shouldn't be out on bail. And the bail is so low that you like, what? Are you trying to give this corrupt person the mindset to go and uh, kill somebody else? Is that what you're doing here? Just so you can get this thousand dollars? Listen, y'all. I keep saying we need a whole overhaul of the police department, and it's not just because uh, white cops shoot black people. We need a whole different overhaul because it is too corrupt. You can't trust it. Ain't that what... um? Public enemy said, you can't trust it. I don't know what's happening to my background. It's just going to turn crazy. Uh, and it's the truth. You can't trust that. So, what, what, what I'm saying is, I don't know if I'm by myself with this. If you think that some of these police, or if it's a mantra for some of these uh, Congress people, some of our aldermen people, to keep the certain situations the way they are. They getting paid to keep some shit the way it is. This idiot right here is only 20 years old. Okay? And a Milwaukee man is charged with the homicide and the shooting death of his ex-girlfriend. Leah Davis died in her apartment um, on Saturday night. The medical examiner says she had eight gunshot wounds, including one to the head. Prosecutors charged Keyshawn Rousey with first degree intentional homicide. They said his neighbors saw Rousey at the apartment moments before the shooting. The criminal complaint also said Rousey admitted to a friend that he shot her. Now, if convicted, he faces life in prison. All right. Now, I keep telling y'all, most of these. Republican governors have allowed to these guns to run willy-nilly in the black community. This is what I see all across the board. Although they're blaming, uh, I see them blaming black Demo I mean, blaming Democrats. <laughs> this is how sick it is for every city that has a spike in crime or whatever. It's because they have a Democratic uh, uh, mayor. Yeah, but who's the governor? See, nobody's even saying nothing about that. This kind of trash right here, this is trash. No, the black community can't afford this type of shit. Nor can the white community. Nor can anybody community. Um, uh-uh. 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. Not only do we have to deal with this type of stuff in our community. We, we This is what we have to deal with on an everyday basis. Madness like this. Okay, shall I continue? One of the worst stories 
I heard and saw. Okay, I this happened on I-94, okay, which actually right down the street from me. A man crashed his SUV, right, on the expressway. The van flipped over. He was in there with his son. I want y'all to hear me because for y'all women out here that's having these babies by these low life individuals and you don't think you, you think it more with your ass than your hand your your head, then you end up with somebody that's this reckless and has this low regard for life. That he would leave his own baby on the expressway and run after he caused the crash because he didn't want to get in trouble for whatever reason. The little boy walking up and down the expressway, all these people could have got killed. <sighs> okay, listen. Just allegedly took off running, abandoning his child after a crash that snarled traffic on a Wisconsin freeway, according to reports. The incident was captured on the state's Department of Transportation cameras. The overturned car forced three lanes of traffic into one, while authorities checked on the people involved. Video shows an officer approach a child on the highway and then go over to the vehicle and help the dad out. But as the officer was putting them into the back of his patrol vehicle, video shows the dad make a run for it, jumping over a highway median and uh, darting across several lanes of traffic. Uh, Authorities reportedly caught up with him later and arrested him. Reports identified him as 21-year-old Ladarius Davis Hughes, and he's charged with reckless endangerment, neglecting a child, uh, possessing a firearm, and two counts of bail jumping. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano. Y'all, we can't afford this no more. I can't, I, we can't afford this no more. Okay? Somebody got to drop them. I, I can't, I, I can't anymore. You, Black Lives Matter. And after what I saw, the way they shot that guy in Atlanta in the back of the head, them fools, then they went clubbing in his pocket like vultures and y'all want to say black lives matter we got trash running around our neighborhoods like this this is absolute trash and I don't give a damn what y'all say and guess what you got to take the trash out it's just that simple uh uh nope okay I'm out of here. Like what you hear. Subscribe. Share the video.